Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do uh, the daily vibes for around the 5th, okay? Do apologize for the delay. It's better late than never, right? It's better late than never. Um, the power was out today, like, all day, all day. So, uh, not in the morning, but somebody hit a pole, a power pole, right out front, head on. They didn't get hurt, but uh, <laughs> it affected my electricity the whole day. So, it really put a damper on things, but... Anyhow, I got to spend some quality time with my daughter. Anyhow, um, so anyhow, here we are. So what do we have for a message around the 5th? What do we have? I already did one. I did it in the dark. Um, but I decided to do it over. I did, and it wouldn't download, obviously. So, there's, the, you know, there's a message in every word that's coming out of my mouth. Better late than never, right? Better late than never. We're going to do it now. We're going to do a do-over. We're going to do this over right now. We're going to do this over. Let's do it over. Uh, two of Wands, Eight of Swords, Six of Swords reversed. So two of wands is a choice at a crossroads. Do I stay or do I go? What am I gonna do? Should I move forward? It looks as though we have somebody here that is moving forward. They're about to move forward. They've been confined. They've been restricting themselves. They've been in some place of fear. They've been trapped by fear, held back by fear, um, trapped in a situation that they were reluctant to uh, remove themselves from. They probably have been reevaluating this situation, reluctant to move on for sure. So I feel like we have somebody that is at a crossroads right now. They may be trapped, okay? They may be they may be still trapped. They may be trapped in a situation that, you know, they're they're a little afraid to break free of, free from. This is like refusing to take a new approach, but really thinking about a brighter future. They're, it's really like on their mind. It's like there's a bright future. The grass is greener over there. I know it is, but I will have to leave behind this situation. And there's fear here. There's fear of stepping into unknown territory. So that's the that's the the problem. But it looks as though there's a there's a whole new world out there, right? There is. There's a there's a better life waiting. You just gotta you gotta break free from that mental uh, conflict that is keeping you stuck. Okay. Death reverse. So death reverse. This holding on is getting old. This is a disaster. It's death is imminent. Okay. This is it's gonna end. Somebody is biding their time. They're biding their time. Um, there's a profound change that is needed. And somebody is thinking about it. They're thinking about it right now. Death, it could be, death reverse is holding on, is getting old. Um, this is a delay. There's a, somebody is delaying the inevitable. With the death reversed. There's some sort of uh, temporary stagnation. Somebody is, is trapped in their head. They're trapped in their thoughts and they're letting their thoughts get the best of them. Very troubled. A lot of troubled thoughts going on. Fool. Fool is, we got somebody here that is just about ready to step into unknown territory. This is risky. It's very risky. I feel like it's a big risk, but it's exciting at the same time. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is about to. They really are. It's like they're on the edge, right? They're on the edge. They this is this is exciting. They're they're ready to leave it all behind. There's we have a new journey, a new beginning here. But they're they're stuck. They're stuck because of fear. But the fool typically uh is a very free spirit, you know. This is a free-spirited individual that is probably being urged to take a risk and their soul this is like their soul wants them to do it it's like just do it just do it just do it 
High Priestess reversed. High Priestess reversed. A secret is about to be revealed. Somebody's been hiding something. It is about to be revealed. There, this is... Uh, Somebody is about to reveal something that they have been keeping to themselves. It's like they can't hold back anymore. They want a better life. They want a new beginning. There is a new beginning here. There is. Somebody is, is going to be leaving behind a very troubled situation that has caused them a lot of restrictions right it's really confined them it's really uh, caused them a lot of trouble somebody's been in a situation that is very rocky right it's very rocky King of Swords. This person knows what they want. They're, they've thought about it. They've already thought about it. They have. They have. They've thought about it a lot. It feels like they've made a decision. They've been indecisive. They've let fear keep them confined to the situation. Fear of starting over. Fear of new beginnings. Fear of stepping into unknown territory. Fear of not knowing, not knowing what the outcome will be. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown has held somebody back from a, a fresh start, from starting over. So there's a lot of fear here, held back by fear. Somebody has really been troubled. They've been troubled by this whole situation, but now they know, they've, they've made up their mind, they have made up their mind, they're gonna do something risky. They're gonna step into unknown territory. This person has not been listening to their gut. They've been listening to other people. <coughs> Three of Swords reversed, that is uh, leaving the past behind, moving forward on the, on the path to recovery. Somebody is, uh, going to be leaving behind a situation that has caused them a lot of suffering. They're making a decision to do so. It's a painful decision. It feels like it hurts. This is a painful decision, but it's the right decision. This is somebody who is very intelligent that, you know, this is the most logical thing to do. There's, this is, there's too many waves here. There's too much turbulence. It's too rocky. There's there's too much uh, confinement. There's too many restrictions. There's, it's just too troublesome. There's, there's no reason to stay here. Starting over from scratch. We have a fresh start here. Somebody is deciding to do something risky. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready to leave the past hurts behind. They're ready for their new journey. They're going to take action. They are. Ten of Cups reverse. This person that is making a decision to move forward in faith has been in a very unhappy relationship, or they've had they've been in a relationship where their dreams have not come true. Behind the King of Swords is the Ten of Cups reversed. So this is somebody that is making a decision based on the truth. You know, this this isn't my dream come true. There's no blessings here. This isn't happily ever after. This is not how I want the story to end. So we have somebody here that is in an unhappy relationship where, you know, there's no uh, wish fulfillment. This isn't, this is a dying dream. Their dreams have died because they haven't taken action. They've allowed themselves to stay in a situation where there's too much control or something like that. It's like they were... Um, oh, what's the word for it? Uh, bound to the situation.
because it was comfortable, it was safe. They stayed in the situation because it was safe. They, they were in fear. They were in fear. Anyhow, we are, we're having somebody here that is leaving behind a relationship that has probably already ended anyway. You know, it's not even... There's no emotional fulfillment there, but they stayed put. They stayed put. They allowed they they couldn't master their emotions to break themselves free because I don't know, maybe they didn't want to deal with the confrontation of leaving. Because whenever you leave a situation that isn't making you happy, there's gonna be some sort of confrontation. I mean there is. There's always gonna be somebody that doesn't like the decision that you make. But they don't live your life, okay? They don't live your life. The only person that lives your life is you. You have to do what's best for you. Because nobody else is going to do what's best for you but you. That's a fact. So somebody is needing to step forward in faith. And I feel like they're making a decision to do so. I'm going to have faith. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to step into this unknown territory even though I do not know what's going to happen. You know, this is a not knowing. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's so exciting. It is exciting. Leaving the past hurts behind. Stepping into unknown territory. On the path to recovery. Seven of, seven of Cups. Choosing another option. This is choices, options, consequences. Measuring up the options. Somebody has been measuring up the options, and I feel like they're choosing another option. There is many options here. There is. Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that is has their value has been tested. This is a test. It's a test of your value. It's a test of your worth. Somebody is going to may be making an approach. It is a slow approach. It is it is a, a, a very practical, realistic approach. We have somebody here that is uh, choosing to hold on to their value. They're choosing to... I feel like this person is choosing to build a foundation or lay a foundation and put in effort to do whatever it takes to build stability. That's where their decision comes from. It's like I know my value. I know what I have to offer. I ha I'm capable of building this foundation. This is the most practical, logical approach Somebody is, is going to be making a practical, logical approach, okay? They're going to be doing something um, very wise, very practical, okay? This is the right decision. It is. The Knight of Pentacles is passing a test. This is a slow and methodical test. Somebody's value has been tested. Be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. Somebody has been in a state of illusion, right? They had made a poor choice that caused them a lot of suffering. They did. They did. They weren't aware. They weren't aware that they were making the wrong choice at that time. But now they are. I do see a, an awareness, an epiphany. It's like a wake-up call. This is expressing the truth, knowing the truth, seeing the truth. There's something. Somebody is becoming aware. Or they're becoming aware of the truth. They know that, that they can't stay in this situation. There's no happiness there. There's no happily ever after. There's no forever there with the Ten of Cups reversed. It's time to go build a foundation you know, I'm willing to put in the work. The Knight of Pentacles is a worker. You know, that is somebody that is, you know, very uh, hardworking, very loyal. We have an individual that has a lot of skills with the Knight of Pentacles. This is a skilled individual who has the capability to build up financial success and they're willing to do whatever it takes to to do it and if that means that they have to choose another option because that is what's best for themselves and that's what they got to do and they're going to do it i do believe that they're going to do it but that fool card right in the middle that is a uh, taking a risk you know this is this is something i have to do right next to the king of pentacles 
This is accepting the challenge. It really is. This is somebody that doesn't let fear hold them back. But fear has held them back. But now they see very clearly, they see very, very clearly that, you know, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't wish fulfillment, right? Choosing another option, choosing the best option, going in a new direction, taking their time. Somebody's going to be taking their time. They're, they're going to be putting in effort, putting, because the Knight of Pentacles is a hard worker. This is somebody who's going to be putting in effort to build a foundation. You know, I'm going to I'm going to do whatever I got to do. If I have to work work to get it done, I'm going to get it done. Sun reversed. So we have somebody here that was definitely in a place of illusion. That's false impressions, loneliness due to disillusionment, causing themselves a lot of suffering. Uh, living in a darkness, staying in the darkness was the opposite of sun, dark. Somebody has been in darkness. The reading that I did in the dark a little while ago is about the darkness. So this is coming out of the darkness. Somebody's been in a place where it's been very dark. Um, they've been disillusioned and I can see it with the seven of cups. You know, they've, they've been disillusioned by some sort of, I don't know, maybe their own mentality. Maybe they were lying to themselves you know about what happiness is anyhow i do see the, i do believe that we have happiness that is right around the corner as soon as this person chooses another option seven of cups right next to the sun card we have somebody here that has really been in a dark place they've been depressed there's been poor health things have been uh not flourishing they haven't been growing. There's been a lack of growth. And now the only practical, logical thing to do is to move on, you know, and go towards the light. Go where there is light. Remove themselves from the dark situation. I don't know if we're dealing with an emperor in reverse. It doesn't have to be. But this is somebody that um, does not typically take action. This is somebody that may be inexperienced or... Um, has a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. Um, this person may be very materialistic, very controlling, does not like to show their weakness. You know, we may have somebody here that is staying into a situation because they don't want to show their vulnerability. You know, they don't want to show their weakness. Um, But things are out of control. They're out of control. There's the lack of structure. There's a lack of organization. And we have somebody here that uh, probably the fool, what's in that little bag is not very much. It leaves everything behind. I'm ready. I'm ready to I'm ready to just leave it all behind and let it all go and step into unknown territory. So I do believe we have somebody here that has probably been indecisive. Okay, this is indecisive as well. They um, may have had a hard time. They may ha be having a hard time um, expressing their feelings. This could be somebody that is pretty hard, you know, very, very hard, hard to... Uh, it's hard to get this person to open up. You know, they don't want to show any weakness. I think we have somebody here that doesn't want to show any weakness. The sun reversed is sad. It's sad. It's not happy. There's no growth. It's dark. There's a need to take action. We have somebody here that needs to master their emotions and they have to make the best decision based on the truth, based on the facts. And they've been disillusioned by, by what? By, I don't know, fantasy? I don't know if it's fantasy because the Seven of Cups is like a fantasy. There's no love in these cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cards, no love. I'm 
we have somebody here that is going to be stepping into unknown territory. They are going to do it with that fool card. They need to replace their fear with faith. They need to be honest with themselves. They need to speak up. They need to tell the truth. They need to accept the challenge and don't let fear stand in the way. There's a lot of fear here. Somebody may be leaving. I feel like we have an uh, end of a relationship here with the Ten of Cups. Somebody is deciding to end a relationship. Ten of Cups reversed. That... Uh, I don't know if they're dealing with somebody that is exploring other options. There is somebody here that is exploring other options. They are. It's heartbreaking. There is some sort of heartbreaking heartbreak here. Somebody has been lying. They've been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. They may be dealing with somebody that is very, very shallow, that has been trapping them or holding them back for some reason, not letting them leave. You know, and maybe that's just the maybe this per, maybe maybe that's just fear. They're not going to let me go. They're going to cause confrontation. You know, they're going to cause trouble if I leave. Anyhow, doesn't matter if they cause trouble. You have to you have to deal with it. You have to deal with your fear. You have to and do what's right for you. Holding on is getting old. Three of Swords reversed on the path to recovery, leaving the past hurts behind, choosing another option, going th towards something that is stable. We have somebody here that is going to be taking a stable offer that maybe they neglected in the past. It's like they're taking it. Maybe it's just their value. It's like I know my value. Choosing, choosing something of value, choosing something solid, choosing something stable, putting in the work. Somebody's going to be putting in work to build a strong foundation that is stable, okay? They're deciding to do, I got to do this, I got to do this. I'm not going to let fear get in my way. I'm leaving those past hurts behind. Six of Pentacles reversed and the star reversed. So Six of Pentacles reversed is letting something go. There's a one-sidedness here. There could be a one-sided uh, situation where somebody has definitely not been getting what they deserve. Uh, maybe they have been conned or they've been stolen from. There's There could be a thief here. Um, why is this happening? A loss of money, a loss of money, a big, huge loss of money or a loss of... Uh, well, there's also a loss of integrity here because that's what came to my mind. We have somebody here that is not getting what they deserve. They're not, they're not getting their wish fulfillment. Okay, there's no wish fulfillment here. The star card is wish fulfillment and it's reversed. Somebody's not getting their, their dreams. Stars are about dreams. Their, their dreams aren't coming true and they're losing. Six of Pentacles is losing. They're losing money. They're losing losing what they had you know they're they're losing it all they could be losing it all why is this happening why is this happening because you're not going after your dreams and it's all about your dreams or your dreams are falling apart because you're there's still no freaking love in these cards mm, six of pentacles reversed this is this is a one-sidedness there's a lack of reciprocation there could be a rejection here somebody may be they may be losing an offer they thought they were going to get or they're losing something because or they're losing money they're losing money six of pentacles reverse they're losing it they're losing out they're definitely losing out on wish fulfillment somebody is losing out on wish fulfillment there's there's some sort of depression here somebody is doubting they're doubting themselves as well they may feel ashamed they may feel like they're not good enough you know, maybe they've stayed in this trap or this situation that they were comfortable in and they, because it was safe. And, some, and, and maybe they've been abused. Maybe they've been abused by a narcissist who, because of that thing that was on the bottom, that told them they weren't good enough. You know, that they, that they, that they could never do any better. It could be a father figure, you know, their father or even their mother. Somebody has led them to believe that they'll never be good enough. But they are good enough because they have some sort of skills that can build a strong foundation. 
if they believe. And, and the, the star card reverse is a lack of belief. There's, a, there's extreme fear here. Somebody is letting their fear hold them back from a better life from getting what they deserve. So they're going to keep losing until they f find a way to replace that fear with faith and take the risk that leads them to wish fulfillment. So with that fool card right in the middle, I would say that it is time for you to step into unknown territory and take this risk. Leave it all behind. Leave it. All the fool takes on the new journey is a little tiny bit. It's like I take my experiences and that's it. I'm leaving it all. You keep it. I don't want it. Goodbye. I'm stepping into new territory. There could be travel here. Somebody may be traveling. They could be moving. Uh, and with the Ten of Cups reversed as well, this could be leaving home, a, a, a separation of some sort, a change in, in a living situation. Um, it's holding on, is getting old. There's no, this is no life. It is no life being in this situation where there's so much struggle and so much turbulence and financial loss as well with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody may be dealing with somebody that doesn't really contribute. You know, they don't really. They don't really give to the situation. What do they give? They don't, what do they give? They don't give anything. So anyway, I feel like a, a very big decision is being made. It's scary. It's risky. But it's also very healing. Everything happens for a reason. Somebody be, may be like, why is this happening? Why do I keep losing? You know, why do I keep losing with the Six of Pentacles? Why, 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 why is this happening? It's happening because you have to make a better choice because of the choices that you've made. Anyhow, good luck.